guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lizzie and I am recovering from like a 24-hour sick bug I don't know I just felt so deathly ill the other night it was like the worst I've ever felt in like 20 years so I'm feeling better and wanted to share with you my 595 body care haul I placed an order online and of course something happened during the shipment um uh, as soon as I got the box it was only body care items no candles as soon as I got the box I'm like I could smell one of the scents. Something leaked. Opened it up. One of the bubble baths was open and kind of leaked all over everything. So I was like, ugh, everything's gooey and soapy and it's just a mess. So I'll share with you what I ordered. I tried to clean them off as best as possible. I called to um, try and get some of the replacements and the person, customer service person was very nice and was like, Oh yeah, if it's like all over everything, we'll just ship you everything again. But then when she was going to reship everything, a lot of it was already sold out. So <laughs> I don't know. She said that like most of it was sold out. And then when I checked the website, I see it's still available. So I don't really know how that worked. But basically she shipped what she could of the items. And then um, she made a replacement order for uh, the items that were not in stock apparently for three three wick candles. So I was very appreciative that she gave me that offer. She said, why don't you just pick other items for um, the replacements? And I didn't really have any other body care I wanted. So I was just like, can I replace them with three wick candles? They're on sale, buy two, get two. And she kind of did a little bit of calculation. She's like, well, we could do three. <laughs> so I was like, whatever. Okay. I'll do three. That's fine. Um, so I cleaned off what I could and it's not too bad anymore, but yeah, it's, uh, the butterfly whipped body butter. So that was actually not available anymore, which I also saw wasn't online. And I picked up the love rose cacao. Um, what is this? The shea sugar body scrub. So I got two of these and these were not online either anymore. I mainly got items, see there's the second one, that were like over the 1650 rewards amount. So I wanted to get like 1750, 1850, 1950 items. Um, the creamy body scrub in Butterfly. So I was so glad I waited to get this because now we had the 595 sale. So I could stock up and get the scrubs. So I got two of those. So that was actually in stock. So she's sending me two more. Two of the Steeped Invigoration Rose Tangerine Tea Luxe Bath. So this was not in stock apparently, even though I saw it online still, but that's okay. I'm getting candles, and like I said, I cleaned these off as much as possible, so they're not really sticky anymore. I did get the Carrot Cake Lip Gloss. Um, and then they had the mini sale where it was marked down to $2.95, but that's okay. She's actually sending me another one of this as well, so I got two basically for $6.00. Um, and then here is one of the bubble baths. I don't know if this is the one that leaked or not. Uh, so butterfly bubble bath and I got two of them. So one of them leaked. One of them was open. I think this was the one and it just kind of spilled all over, but two of those and those were not in stock anymore either, apparently. And last was the aromatherapy rose tangerine tea body wash. So that is what I picked up for the 595 sale. Um, very happy with the customer service I received and I'm fine, I guess, not getting duplicates of everything again, or even in some cases quadruplets since I ordered two of the items. So I'm getting three, three wick candles. So I'm excited about that. I have not shopped the mini sale because I was like, I really don't need to go into store and get stuff I don't need. And I have not gone into store yet for the buy to get to because I know Sunday they're going to have a 40% off everything. Um, plus maybe an additional discount or something flash sales going on. So I'm kind of waiting to see what that's going to be. There's not really any new candles I'm really tempted to get for the buy to get to. So we'll just see if I do place an order or go in store before then, and then see what happens on Sunday. But thank you guys so much for watching. And it was just a quick little video sharing my 595 haul and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back with a quick little add on to this video. My bestie Susie, who lives in another state, sometimes will occasionally find candles, items that she's out shopping that I might not have at my Bath and Body Works yet or ever, or TJ's or Marshall's. So she'll like 
text me, message me, see if I'm interested and want her to pick it up for me. And then when she gets a lot, she'll go ahead and ship it all to me. And one of these shipments arrived today. So I figured my Bath and Body Works 595 body care haul was a little bit short. So let's go ahead and add this on to the end of that video and show you what I picked up or what she picked up for me um, regarding candles and whatnot and some other goodies that I completely forgot I had or asked her to get. So it's always a nice little surprise here. So <laughs> first she just included this cute little Sephora beanie. Um, it's very thick. I don't know where she got this. But thank you, Susie. It kind of fits my big head. Yep. But yeah, I don't really need it now. Today was like 70 degrees, so it's been very warm lately, even though it's supposed to be like kind of rainy this weekend. We'll see. But <laughs> there's the beanie. Oh, now my hair's all messy. Um, and then I did have her get me the some somebody loves you pocket bags from I'll just take it out of the bag. Uh for this this year's Easter collection, um, Tutti Fruity Candy. So I hadn't seen them yet at my store. Um, they do have them now, but a while ago she picked these up for me. So the five pocket bags. And then, oh, this is beautiful. The Starbucks um, venti cup in this like iridescent kind of rainbow. Well, they're upside down rainbows pattern. Um, I didn't see this at my Starbucks, but I didn't like go right when they were released and didn't have time to go searching for them. But she found uh, one of these. So, of course, I definitely wanted to grab one and I'm so happy. It's so pretty. This is actually plastic, but it just it looks like glass and it's just so nice. And oh, I love that for my little collection. And then some candles she surprised me with. This is I don't know what this one is from. We go together like a coffee and donut. So cute little single wick here morning donuts yeah i don't know if this is like walmart or what morning donuts very light but it's so cute anyway i can't really smell it um then she got me this huntington home cereal milkshake i saw some people post these and i was like oh darn it if i had like this brand somewhere near me i would go searching for it but she found one and oh this one smells good yeah it's it's you get the um, cereal, creamy, milky part, but it's not like the Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. It's just like, yeah, cereal milkshake, kind of sweet, creamy type of note. So that by Huntington Homes. And then I think she told me about this one and I asked her to get it. It's um, the Huntington Homes Moscow Mule Cocktail Candle and it has like this fancy box it comes in. Um, I love drinking Moscow Mules, so I definitely, and of course, Frosted Moscow Mule by Bath & Body Works. It's just this beautiful, nice glass votive with uh, one wick, and um, the notes are, I know they're, I saw them somewhere, notes of ginger, sparkling lime, and vanilla, and I already can smell the ginger. Yeah, it's very authentic to a Moscow Mule, because um, I feel like the Bath & Body Works one is leaning more towards island margarita just in the sense of lime and and fruitiness but this is a distinct ginger spicy kind of note hmm. Ugh, that one definitely is like a true moscow mule and then she picked up some dw candles for me um i love like the latte collection so she got this one sweet lavender latte that sounds interesting right if you were to get that as a drink and how cute is that lid I don't get lavender. <laughs> it's definitely just like latte. Nope. Yeah, just a coffee note. Maybe a slight floral herbal essence. But mostly just coffee and almost chocolate note. But love having that in my collection. And then she found these Valentine's Day ones, which I was happy because I didn't see them at any of my stores. Um, so I'm glad I didn't have to go like searching or I would have been disappointed. Um, the vanilla caramel latte in this cute heart and red top and it's just like the one wick vanilla caramel latte i don't think that's a new one anyway but so cute with the packaging oh yeah you get the vanilla sweet glaze note that and then i love you a latte i think this one is a repeat i've seen it before but i just didn't find it at all this year and it's strawberry vanilla latte for this in the pink oh yeah you definitely get the strawberry note it definitely smells like um the strawberry, what's the strawberry doll? Whatever that strawberry doll is. <laughs> Ooh. 
strawberry there. And last raspberry almond latte with the pink and little hearts there. Oh, so cute. Ooh. I don't think it's the almond, but it's just very like dark, like a dark roast. <laughs> Getting a little bit hint of the raspberry, but oh, I really like that one. It's like a very rich, dark roast, almost almost like burnt coffee, but I like it. Mm. That one is really good. Raspberry almond latte. I would get more of these if they had them. Um, but thank you so much, Susie, for going out of your way or, you know, even if you were out shopping and picking these up for me and going through the trouble of packing all of this and you always just wrap things so well done and make sure nothing breaks and i just love you so thank you and and thank you guys for letting me share this with you i'll see you guys soon bye